Hey everyone, welcome back. I have another video here. This time it's a hobby one for this one will be the kickoff or summary kind of video of our Conflict 47 campaign, the battle for Slavograd. So the background. Uh, so due to some recent gains, the German forces have been able to come fairly close to the Soviet um, depot, supply depot, Riftec uh, repair center. So they're they're looking to take uh, some gains on this or even more gains and just c c run through this town and capture uh, capture and or destroy this uh, depot but due to its location um, you know in a, in a valley and such that they're not able to just um, you know sweep around the side or anything um, so they're gonna have to come straight through straight through the town so this will be a four game linear campaign so we're not doing a you know a uh, decision tree or anything in the sense of okay attacker wins um, you know wins loses or whatever this one we're just trying to test some of these things out um, so it'll just progress from one two three four um, the book the missions themselves and a lot of the city siege assets and things are pulled from the uh, bolt action fortress Budap budapest book um, this will simply uh, it'll be an attacker defender setup in this case it is the German forces are the attacker Soviets are the defenders and then uh, we are allowing at least in the first mission uh, the combat jump rules which uh, these have been modified to account for uh, the fact that some units have flight in conflict 47 and in the yeah, and then here's the rules themselves uh, just leave these here for a second if you want to read over them uh, by all means pause the video and then coming into our first uh, the first game so obviously this will be the German forces are rolling in they're looking to capture the town as quickly as possible they think they were slick and um, trying to catch the Soviet forces unaware as, as noted they didn't um, some of the big stands out here being the um, you're allowed the defenders are getting a free air observer and um, and then the attacking forces, you know, these are the uh, tip of the spear, so they're, you know, they're the elite group. They're getting to remove extra pins just by uh, activating orders and get a lot, uh, fairly large point advantage. So the next one coming in here is secure the foothold. So the idea being, like I said, we're, we're just playing through. It doesn't matter if the attacker wins or not. We're going to the next one. Uh, this is the, you know, securing the foothold. So they've They've rolled up to the outskirts of town, made contact, now they're advancing in, you know, just trying to gain as much ground as they can and, and get a, a base of operations. This one, um, going into the city fight, it is being played on a 4x4. Four four. The primary goal is the capturing table quarters. Uh, so the um, the idea being is obviously they have they came in into town, they met resistance, and now they've disembarked and are are marching through and trying to, to capture everything. Then here's the, the we roll into game three. This is you know they got their foothold. They're um, you know they're trying to capture the key locations and things of the town now. Um, this mission in particular, uh, scenario twelve, it is modified from the book, but um, if you can get a chance, it is worth playing even just in a non-campaign setting. Um, because it's uh, units are popping up off the objectives. Uh, in the case of defenders, um, they can pop off the objectives, considering this is their their town, so they know all the little secret ways. The attackers get to do that after they've captured one of the objectives, uh, or they have to come in off their table edge. Um, we've played it in a non-campaign setting a couple times, and it's 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 wonky in the sense of you know units are popping up everywhere. Uh, fairly, you know, accurate of the of a, of a city fight in the sense that you don't know what your opponent's doing. So if they're routing, you know, units through buildings and stuff, you're not going to know. Um, you know, a bunch of you, you know, three squads are going to pop out over here until they show up. And then the final one, uh, like I said, they it's the um, we just assume the attackers are winning from a from a mission standpoint. Uh, rolling in the next one so yeah this is the final holdout so here's the the soviet forces in this case are going to be you know they've pulled up everything secured everything and they're trying this is where they hold the line you know stalin's not one step back so we're set up to you know do everything we can to stop them from hitting the uh, or getting to the supply depot the idea being is you know they're just trying to hold out as long as they can and let everything uh to, for them to either remove or destroy 
uh, to prevent it from falling into the Axis hands, anything at this depot on the other side of town. So finally, that'll bring us into the conclusion of the campaign. This is going to just be a, uh, like I said, there's not a, a decision tree or anything like that. It's just going to be play missions one through four, um, and but we are going to determine a winner just for, you know, because bragging rights. Um, so the the only thing that's going to happen here is we're not tracking units killed or anything. So it's just based on the points of the attacker three, two, one. In the case of mission, they get a victory. It's three, and then go down from there. Uh, and then, based on the amount of points they get over the the camp of the four games, they'll determine how you know if they actually won or not. Um, obviously, if they get the tw full twelve, three points per game times twelve, they just blew through the Soviets and captured the depot by lunch. And then on the other end, if they get only like four, then realistically they didn't even make it into the town. Um, you know, they were stalled out and all sorts of unpleasantness on their side but overall this um, I just wanted to create this video to because I may not remember uh, doing the battle reports all the details are just kind of the some of the nuances of of what's going on in each mission or at least to explain it thoroughly in the battle report video and also to kinda give a give a consolidation point for or for all the like the missions and the rules and things and if, if you like what you see uh, by all means reach out I didn't want to put all the uh, city siege assets and all that up here, um, and you know I didn't want to just copy and paste the Fortress Budapest book or, or my mission pack up here. But I do have, I do have it. So if it is, if this sounds interesting for you and your group, um, by all means reach out and I'll pass it along. Um, like I said hopefully we're, we're you know by this time we'll be we've played through it at this point once or twice, and um, hopefully we can get you you know get you a, a more cleaned up version. Thanks for watching and hope you enjoy.